But for those young Muslims, what would you say how they should feel towards the people that hate them? The natural human, there's a desire still to have anger, to have resentment, to have hate back at the people that hate you. The Quran says, respond to that which is evil with that which is better. And you will find that sometimes your enemy will become your close friend. So respond with that which is better. Doesn't mean be passive. Uh, sometimes there needs to be a demonstration of strength. Sometimes there needs to be a demonstration of uh, ignoring uh, a people altogether. But ultimately, you can't let the way people treat you shape who you're going to be in the world. And so that's why I say we have to look beyond the guns and the roses. We have to look beyond the hostility of our enemies and the temporary and opportunistic embrace of some of those who claim to be our allies and be us and treat the world and treat the people of this world in accordance with your standards, not with theirs. So don't teach them you know, or don't let them teach you bad character, you teach them good character. So live your life and, and uh, live your faith beautifully and let people see the beauty of it through your, through your being and do not let their ugliness consume you.